All right, guys. So the day has finally come. I got Morbius here. Okay, I put that on the front because I just literally got the box, opened it up, and Morbius was there. But here's what I really want to do a video on today. And I'm probably going to do another one, a more in-depth. This is like a little small preview. Okay, let's get this one out of here. Jackie Orms. I believe that's how you pronounce her name. And I talked about her in a community post. It says, the first African-American woman cartoonist. And this book is more like a novel that talks about her life. But it also has like her artwork in here as well. Because some people were asking me um, about this one. Who I never even knew existed until I started getting these books and getting suggestions on books. And then she came up as, you know, as a uh, cartoonist and artist for her newspaper that she worked in. Um, I'm going to do a, a video on this woman's life. I'm going to try to do like an in-depth video, but right now this is just the preview video for this book that I told you that I ordered that I wanted to show you guys who were asking me about it. So let's just go inside real quick and I can show you some of the excerpts, some of the artwork that's in here. So immediately when you open the book, you can see a picture of her at her desk, you know, drawing her little um, art desk or whatever, her office, if you will. And it shows some of her drawings that she's going through right now, her doodles, her all of her, you know, utensils that she used. I guess you call them utensils or accessories to draw. Now, for all you people that have been wondering if she was a swirler, she was not a swirler. She was a light-skinned black woman, beautiful black woman. Had nothing to do with her being light-skinned, but she's a very beautiful woman that got married in 1931 to this man, Earl Owens, who worked at the same paper that she did her her cartooning at her illustrations at called the courier that's what it is here and a 45 year marriage that lasted until his death in 1976 she never remarried again and she actually died in 1985 when i was six years old at the age of i believe 79 i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm gonna do a video in-depth video with all the facts she literally has to be one of the most beautiful cartoonists, a.k.a. artists I've ever seen. Because you look at her, she's got a beautiful body, she's got a pretty, pretty face, okay? And the character of Torchy, Candy, and Ginger that she drew pretty much reflected her physique, her beauty. Here are those images of Black Love I told you about. This is the Torchy comic that she did. And you can see it, it kind of looks just like her with the short dark hair and the frame she has. Kissing on the black man, Paul. You know. Like any woman's comic, she had other men trying to romance her. But the only man that she really loved was Paul, who she ends up with in the last panel out of all these panels that I'm looking at. And there are a few in here. I'm just showing you, you know, just a few here. There are there are quite a few that you can look at in here, but I'm just showing you like, you know, small little, you know, screenshots here with my camera here. And then she has the actual character with the clothing here. One of the earlier comics before the one I'll show you with her with that Paul guy. You had a sea captain trying to take her for himself. And you know what I mean by saying take her. He's trying to force himself on her. And she's like, no. So you can see all this. Very attractive character. Attractive black female character. Once again, she draws uh, the character of Torchy down here. With clothing that she would put on her. So this is a really cool piece of history. Not knowing about not knowing much about this character here or knowing much about the artist slash cartoonist that drew her. It's very interesting that I finally came upon this and it is a piece of black history that we should all, you know, give credit to her and that we should all take in. Some more artwork here with the character Ginger, who is this little girl. And this is from the 1950s, I believe. see there this is what I showed you guys before in the community post 
I actually have it in front of me now, these drawings here. And of course, a little girl, her name was uh, Ginger. And this older female, older black female here with the, with the longer hair was called Patty Jo. This is a picture of her right before, wait, months before she died, actually, in 1985. Uh, probably holding up her artwork once again. And I'm happy to see, happy to say that I got this book. Happy to see that there were black artists that, even though they couldn't go mainstream, they did get a chance to put their work out there into the community and voice their opinions on black love, voice their thoughts on racial issues, you know, voice, just, you know, get out there and, and, and have a voice, period. Because the black papers out there that would publish like every once or twice a week were the ones that gave her her start. She never did get a chance to go mainstream, but I'm glad that she was able to share her artistic, you know, talent with the world. Because her art is really good, even if it's the old style, you know, old school, old style art that you might see like in a 1940s, 1950s style cartoon. It's still art and it's beautiful. Like her female black character looks like a black Lois Lane. Early in her career, she, well, I should say middle of her career, she got to meet Duke Ellington. And I'm pretty sure most of you know who Duke Ellington is. So yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy I got this book. I'm happy I got to learn about a pioneer in black history and art. This being the first black woman getting a lot of uh, recognition from the black community for her, you know, artistic, you know, achievement, her commentary on what was going on. Because most of the book is going to look like this, what word you got to read it. But I'm fine reading about this because, you know, just like with Freddie Washington, I believe that was her name or Frida Washington. You know, she helped build the Harlem Renaissance. I like knowing about female black women, you know, and uh, black men who, you know, shape the history for the future of black people here. It's good to know about what they've done and what their cont contributions are, because we know people that we have contributed a lot to this country, even if they want to laugh at us and tell us that we're full of shit or we're lying. It's just not fucking true. They just don't want us to know how great we are, how great we've always been. So if you happen to be interested in... The art of Jackie Arms or the life of Jackie Arms. I believe her name is Arms or Armez. I think it's Arms. Uh, you can get this book. I'm going to show you the cover in just a minute. But her artwork is just totally amazing. She drew black female characters, black men characters. They may look white here. They're not. It's just not in color on this one. Okay. But her artwork was great. And I consider it to be, you know, an honor to even learn about this particular female who is a pioneer in African-American artwork, as well as knowing about what her life was like and what her achievements were as she started out as a journalist and had a passion to become an artist. So with that being said, that is the book right there. The first African-American woman cartoonist, Jackie Arms. You want to pick this book up? I got it on Amazon. I think I paid like $25 for this. But it's definitely worth it. The artwork you get to see that she contributed to the paper, contributed to the world, to the black community, as well as how she got her startings in, you know, in the industry. Not becoming mainstream, but have being a, a voice for black people and contributing to black culture with her artistic talent. Rest in power. And I'll see you guys next time. And I'm definitely going to do a video on Jackie um, in the future, a more in-depth one. But like I said, if you guys want to own this book, you can get it off of Amazon. I think it's definitely worth the money. I'm going to be reading this throughout the year to come because I got a lot of books to read now. But I'm definitely going to put this up there on my bookshelf and have it ready as soon as I'm done with my uh, superhero books as well. But I'm going to look at this probably later today and check it out. Because uh, it's just interesting and it's good to know, you know, it's good to know about people that I never even knew about. Like I said, a lot of you didn't know about her either. So we can both learn together. Anyway, guys, take care of yourselves and I will see you soon. Goodbye.